This video lesson is a tutorial over solving a system of inequalities by graphing. I'm going to zoom in here. So again, we have a system of inequalities. That's our greater than, less than, um, or greater than, equal to, less than, equal to symbols. All right. So both of these inequalities are already in y equals mx plus b form, or they're solved for y. Now, it doesn't say equal. Technically, it's less than or equal to, but it has a slope and it has a y-intercept. Both of them do, so we can graph them. Okay. However, when we graph, remember we are working with inequalities, so there are some things we need to remember. So let's review these things here. When you have a y greater than or a y less than symbol, and that's all you see. As far as the line you use, it's dashed. When you have the y greater than or equal to, or the less than or equal to, the line that you draw is solid, like an equation. All right, now when it comes to shading, because we're working with inequalities, we have infinite number of solutions, but when it says y greater than or y greater than or equal to, you then shade above the line that you have drawn to identify the all of the solutions. Or if you have y less than or y less than or equal to, you shade below the line that you have drawn. Okay? So let's take a look at these. This says y less than or equal to negative x minus 4. So the y-intercept is negative 4. So let's go ahead and put a point there at negative 4. All right? Now we've graphed that and we have a slope. Or we've plotted that point, I'm sorry, and we have a slope of minus 1, okay? Well, a slope of minus 1 means minus 1 over 1. So we're going to go from this point, the y-intercept, we'll go down 1 and then over 1 and put our very next point, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. That's what it means to have a slope of negative 1, okay? So our next point is right here and then right here here or we could go the other direction okay that is our slope now because we have a less than or equal to we're going to draw a solid line to show the the graph so it would look something like this solid line and it, of course it continues in both directions okay but i with my app here i just saw a line i guess i could draw the arrows goes this way and goes this way, okay? All right, now let's take a look at the inequality very specifically. It says y less than or equal to. Well, less than or equal to means we shade below, okay? Well, when you think about below, think about reading this line from left to right. This is a negative downhill slope. Remember, it's a slope of negative. So if someone is walking down this hill this way, above them would be up here and below them will be down here. So we're going to shade down here. So this would represent all of the solutions down here below this line and anything on the line. Okay. All right. Now let's graph the other one. We have a inequality that says y greater than 3x minus 8. So the negative 8 is our y-intercept, okay? So let's plot our point at negative 8, all right? And then we're going to plot the slope of 3. Well, if you have a slope of 3, then you can make it a fraction by just putting 3 over 1. That way you have a rise and a run. So from this point, we're going to go up 1, 2, 3 units and over 1 and put the next point up one two three and over one would be our next point up one two three over one up one two three over one and those are the points that are on the graph so you can see previously that the intersection point is here okay but this is an inequality so there could be multiple answers okay now this inequality very specifically says y greater than it's not an equal to so we're going to use a dashed line. So I'm going to try to draw a dashed line as best I can that's going through those points. And we'll continue on like that. Now as far as the shading, okay, it says greater than. 
so we're going to shade everything above. Well, this line from left to right is moving this direction. So if you think of someone walking uphill, above them would be up here. So we're going to shade all of that. So above the line is here. All right. So now you can see that the solutions are in this double shaded region. So you could pick any possible solutions as long as it's in this double shaded area. So we could say negative seven, negative two would be a possible solution. Negative seven, negative two. If you plugged in negative seven, negative two would work for both. Now notice on here, we could look at zero, zero. What our shading is telling us is that zero, zero is not a solution. All right, that would mean zero is less than or equal to negative four. Is that true? No, zero is not less than negative four. But again, zero is not part of our solution, and that's what we wanted it to be. Here we could check zero, zero again. Uh, let's check it in this one. Is zero greater than, well, three times zero, zero minus eight. So is zero greater than negative eight? No. So it looks like we've done our shading wrong because we picked a point that wasn't supposed to be a solution and it wasn't. That's a quick way to check your work. All right, and that's a look at graphing inequalities.